A unique place in New Jersey is helping to unlock the artistic talents of the severely disabled. And as Brenda Blackman explains, the amazing art is the collaborative effort that requires both vision and patience. Do you want me to start right at the very edge of the top and the side? This is how Mike Martin paints. This is exactly where you want it? He chooses his shapes. Do you want to make another shape with those shapes? That was a no. Okay. He chooses his colors. Magenta, alizarin red. Do you still want all those colors? He chooses his brush. Is this the exact brush you would like to use? And his brush stroke style. Tell me where it is you would like me to dip the brush in. All by moving his eyes and his head. Here we are, we're starting at the edge, the bottom now. I'm coming across. Is that exactly what you wanted? He has been severely disabled since birth. He's now 31 years old. He can't speak, but he does communicate. Okay, you ready, Mike? Okay. What makes Mike a good artist is his vision that he puts together from the questions we ask and how he picks and chooses and assembles the different ingredients of the painting. Katina Anson is Mike's facilitator. She's a volunteer at the Art Access Program of the Matheny Center in Peapack, Somerset County. It's her job to interpret Mike's eye movement answers to her questions and carry out Mike's artistic desires. He's been working on this canvas since the end of August. He's very much established a voice in his painting style where his work is recognizable and that is no small feat for any particular artist to manage. Mike has been painting for a decade. He's one of 53 artists in the Art Access Program and he may be one of the most talented. All of the paintings in this book were done by artists with severe disabilities helped by facilitators. Some people work their emotions out through their painting. Others are just basically working on decision-making skills. Uh, it's a vocational opportunity for these clients because all their work goes up for sale. And this may be Mike's piece de resistance. The original is 70 inches wide. The greatest joy is to see their face and to see them accomplish something for themselves because I know what pleasure it gives me and to be able to give that gift to somebody else is nothing short of miraculous in my eyes. Brenda Blackman, My Nine News.